This video is brought to you by Infgate and Ticket Volume. Whether you're just starting out or a seasoned pro, honing your service management skills is key to success in today's tech-driven world. Join me as we explore five tips to elevate your IT service management game. Tip number one, master the art of clear communication. You're explaining a system upgrade to a client who's not exactly fluent in tech speak. Instead of bombarding them with buzzwords and acronyms, break it down into a language they understand. Compare it to something familiar, like upgrading software to giving their computer a much-needed spa day. By making it relatable, you not only ease their concerns, but also build trust and rapport. Tip number two, make customer satisfaction your top priority. Think of yourself as the IT superhero swooping in to save the day for your clients. Imagine they're facing a technical hiccup that's causing chaos in their workflow. Instead of just fixing the problem and disappearing into the digital ether, take a moment to ensure they're truly satisfied. Maybe throw in a quick follow-up call to ensure everything is running smoothly, or even a personalized thank you note for their patience. It's these little gestures that turn a mundane service call into a memorable experience. Tip number three, embrace the mindset of continuous learning. In the fast-paced world of IT, standing still is a surefire way to get left behind faster than a floppy disk in a USB-C world. So, channel your inner tech enthusiast and embrace every opportunity to expand your knowledge. Whether it's diving into the latest coding languages, attending industry conferences, or even just devouring tech blogs over your morning coffee, keep that thirst for knowledge alive and kicking. After all, the more you know, the more valuable you become to your clients and your team. The important thing to know in, with training of any kind really is, is, you know, what are you getting out of the training or is it just a checkbox for something on a resume? So, and when I usually would do a course, they would, you know, ask, you know, what are you looking to kind of get out of it? And there's, you know, the odd student that would say, you know, we want, I'm just looking to kind of get the old checkbox on the old resume. But um, I think ultimately, if you're using that to, to do something with your organization, you want to make sure that you're able to apply what you've learned Bingo. to what you're doing. Yeah. Tip number four, cultivate your problem-solving prowess. When faced with a challenge, resist the urge to panic and instead channel your inner Sherlock Holmes. Break down the problem into manageable chunks, gather clues, or data in this case, and piece together a solution. Remember, it's okay to ask for help from your fellow tech-savvy sidekicks when the going gets tough. Teamwork makes the dream work, after all. And that leads us to Tip number five, foster a culture of collaboration. Service management should be like a well-oiled machine with each cog and gear working together seamlessly to keep things running smoothly. So, instead of hoarding knowledge, share your expertise freely with your colleagues. Encourage open dialogue, brainstorming sessions, and maybe even the occasional team building outing. By fostering a culture of collaboration, you not only strengthen your team, but also ensure that your clients receive the best possible service every time. It's not rocket science. This, this service management thing, it's all about people. It's all about bringing people on the journey, helping businesses grow and develop, but also helping people grow and develop. And doing things in a simple, consistent way just makes life easier. I, I think, um, Throughout my, my career so far, I mean, I've learned as I've gone along that I've been doing a lot of service management stuff before I was even officially in service management. Um, but it's just common sense. It's it's just applying basic log logic. Like one of the things when, when we spoke before, I was talking about the um, ITIL 4 guiding principles. I absolutely love them because Let's focus on value. <laughs> Let's keep it simple. Let's just do all of these common sense things, but it, it doesn't just apply to IT. It can apply to the rest of the business. And there you have it. Five tips to supercharge your IT service management skills. Remember, clear communication, customer satisfaction, continuous learning, problem solving prowess, and collaboration are the cornerstones of success in the ever evolving world of IT. For more insights into making your mark in the IT industry, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And if you have an IT-related topic you want us to cover, please leave it in the comments. Thanks for watching.